hello friends and welcome back to our channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how you can increase your internet speed at your home this is a really an, uh, technical or it's a real way in which you can really increase the speed of your internet so firstly just check what's the current internet speed that we are getting right now so you have to connect to the Wi-Fi that you want to check the speed go to speed test uh, website and go to the begin test and let us firstly see what's the speed that currently we are getting with the Wi-Fi uh, I will tell you that because uh, in our home we have a very good internet plan which is 20 Mbps and as you see in the video that we are only getting 3.5 around mbps which is really very less because we have a very good plan so it's, it should be if it's a 20 mbps it should be like 15 mbps 12 or maybe 10 mbps speed should become but as you see the download speed is 3.22 mbps as an average and let us see what's the upload speed it is, is i think it's also like 3.3 is 3.46 isn't it it's very less speed at download and upload speed and now i will tell you how you can increase your internet speed in a real way so the first thing that you must know is about the default gateway of your wi-fi router because you have to go inside the settings of your wi-fi router and you have to change and you have to do some settings which can further increase the speed of your router so what you have to do first thing is go to google and search for the default gateway for your router for that you just need to enter the brand of your wi-fi router for example like if you have a d-link router you can find out the d-link default gateway and enter it's it's not depend upon the model number of your routers it just depend upon the vendor it just depend upon the company so like you're finding your routers IP address you are going to the uh, find out the default gateway for dealing for example so as you see if you will go below and so the default gateway for dealing it is 192.168.1.1 so this IP address is a gateway it's a door for all of your settings for your Wi-Fi so in my case I have a BTEL router and a BTEL also has the same default gateway which is 192.168.1.1 so I press enter whenever you press enter you have to enter the username and password in most of the cases because you have not ever changed the username and password so most of the cases the authentication uh, credentials will be the default credentials given by the company so it, again you have to go to google and you have to check for the default credentials in my case default is admin and password is password p a double s w r d you can also check this one if it works for example like in in dealing in general cases admin is the username and password is uh, blank only and you can go and click on ok so in my case like I have entered into the BTEL routers Wi-Fi inside settings so one thing that you need to learn about the Wi-Fi because we just use the Wi-Fi as a user but we don't know uh, that there are many things that makes a Wi-Fi there are many standards made by the companies so as if you search on the Google and you search for IEEE 802.11 so this is actually the standard being defined for the Wi-Fi and there are many modes which this is called modes B, G and A, C so these modes actually uh, define the speed of the Wi-Fi so if you see the B mode is the old one A mode is the oldest like and 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 nowadays the ac is the best one so if you want to increase your speed of your wi-fi uh, you can also get the latest wi-fi with the ac mode but like if you have the wi-fi and uh, whatever the wi-fi we have just go to the interface setup and go to the wireless settings here 
and in the wireless you will see the wireless mode this mode if you click here is like b g n b g n b g n and these are the modes these modes as i told you here that if you check the b mode b mode gives you the speed of 11 mbps as a maximum speed but if on the other hand you check that in my router i have b g n i have three modes so you can check whatever the speed given to your mode so if you check the n mode n mode having the speed of 54 mbps to 600 mbps so i think it's like 5 to 10 15 times more than b mode and if you see in my case if i click on wireless see the mode selected is b mode and we as a user do not know that we, we have to go into these settings and we have to change the mode but see now i am going to change the mode to n because this n mode is very fast so i click on the n mode and i go below and i will click on this save as i click on this save so now my router has been changed to the high speed router so now if i think we will check the speed by using this speed test application i think the speed should be increased right now firstly we'll go to the speed test application you can go to the website of speedtest.net and we will start the begin test once the loading will complete now loading is completed and we'll start the begin test now uh, Previously, a router was actually working on the lower speed. So, oh, really? Yeah. Just see what speed we are getting. It's we are getting 14 Mbps. Previously, it was 3 Mbps. It's almost five times more. Oh, really? Yeah, this is very cool. Huh? This is not a this is not a very uh, fake or some wrong way. This is actually the technical or the real way, which most of the people do not know. So as you know this thing and I would suggest you to just go and check your Wi-Fi's default gateway, enter inside the settings of your Wi-Fi, see the speed, download speed is 15, 14.51 Mbps right now and it's 10 Mbps. Just go to the default gateways and check. See now the wireless is N so now I'm getting a very good speed. Uh, share with your friends and tell them how you can really increase the Wi-Fi speed right now and thank you very much for watching this video and if you like this thing so just please give us a thumbs up and like our video subscribe to my channel to get more updates and thank you so much for watching this video have a good day